Today is an insight into the future. We drive our cars today, but into the future our cars are going to drive us. And what we have in a New South Wales first is the trial of a shuttle bus here in the Sydney Olympic Park precinct. It'll be a two year trial. Uh, this is a fully automated vehicle. It takes it to a new level. Uh, I know that uh, people across our community can't believe that uh, into the future we're going to have driverless cars. Well, here it is. What we're going to see over the next 10 years is an incredible change in the way in which our road network, our transport network operates as a result of automation and full automation. HMI is a transport technology company that, which has had a long history in bringing innovation to both New Zealand and Australia and we're really excited to be working with the New South Wales government to, to trial this first autonomous vehicle here in, in Sydney. We see New South Wales as being a, a real opportunity for HMI as it's the biggest state in the Australia. There's a lot happening here and automated vehicles is, is one part of the picture but as we've said before we're, we're a real transport technology company and it's good to see uh, where we can move into other areas as well. So we've got a glimpse today of what tomorrow looks like and HMI have been a wonderful partner and we're looking forward to these trials at Sydney Olympic Park and showing the people of New South Wales and Australia that this isn't scary but it's also going to have enormous benefits in terms of road safety. 94% of accidents involve driver error. And if we can have more autonomous vehicles uh, on the network in a safe uh, and efficient way, uh, that is just going to be a good thing. We've always prided ourselves on being a, a company that's at the forefront of the transport technology revolution. We've been a company with a long history in bringing new innovative products, ITS products, to market both in New Zealand and Australia. So we brought this vehicle to the state of New South Wales to Sydney to give Sydney the opportunity to trial it in it at the armory here at Sydney Olympic Park with a view to then uh, creating enough regulation and legislation to enable these types of vehicles to be used commercially on the road network. The key challenges are just trying to understand how it's going to work for us. We want to know how it's going to make transport better, how it's going to improve safety and mobility of our customers and the infrastructure that we need around it. So, you know, conducting a trial is exactly how you do that. You get your hands dirty and you figure out how the technology works and what it can do. This is a fantastic opportunity for us to really enable a platform for, for ourselves and for our partners to test our technologies and see how we can integrate the technology with existing systems and interface with the infrastructure, which is an enormous requirement. Look, this is an exciting day to see the first autonomous shuttle. There are so many benefits of autonomous vehicles. Uh, we'll be saving more lives, we're reducing congestion, it's great for the environment. Uh, we can't wait for the trial to commence. There's so many lessons to learn of how it will work. Tells was very excited to be part of this trial. I think this helps us drive both social and economic benefits. I mean, we can actually use this trial's outcomes to actually figure out how do we, how do we make sure that we best um, fit in autonomous vehicles into the ecosystem. We believe, as the ministers have said, that the future is about autonomous vehicles. The safety implications are enormous. The efficiency implications are tremendous. We're looking forward to having a, a successful trial and more importantly looking forward to rolling out these vehicles in Sydney, in the state of New South Wales and beyond within Australia.